Salute, salute, salute all my generals, all my lions, all my real men, all my queens, all my princesses, all my lionesses. Y'all already know what it is. It's lions and men. It's your boy, True. Yours truly. We're not promoting gangs or gang violence in any way, shape, or form. This is strictly for entertainment and educational purposes only. So, if it's your first time jumping on, definitely hit the share Button, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, I mean, hit the notification bell, share this, definitely, um, so you can stay in tune on current events and what's going on with your boy, so let's get into it, um, this is, um, I don't want to make fun of this, there's a lot of dudes that I've been seeing on YouTube that been, you know, really just aggressively been talking, um, real aggressive as far as, like, when I mean aggressive, let me say, let me change it. They just been talking real reckless about the situation with Hassan Campbell and African Bambada because um, he was a teenager at the time. So when I say reckless is because a lot of dudes, a lot of pack podcasters, a lot of dudes is just, you know, on interviews or whatever. Some dudes is YouTubers. Some dudes is not. Some dudes is just entertainers. Um... And on social media, like, dudes was basically catching wreck on his song, talking about, like, yo, he in a relationship. There was a meme going around with him and African Bimbada, like, he was in a relationship with, with African Bimbada. Um, and, like, that was his boyfriend, you know, so to speak. And because he was a teenager and, and, and he was doing it, I guess, for he was um, allegedly on his side, his version of it is that he was basically molested, you know, that he was being molested and all that and i just think that 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 i heard for example i heard this the charles charleston white literally say out his mouth at you're a teenager you're a killer um you know killers don't let nobody take their booty or put a penis in their mouth or put their penis in their mouth. He said crazy shit like that, right? He said out his mouth, right? Who does that? Them teenagers. And I was like, I get what he's saying, but like, not every teenager. Like, I don't been in jail and I seen what happens to the week. Feel me? Or because it's not every and do and dudes could be locked up for a body. Go to jail. Killer in the street, go to jail, get raped, get violated. In the free, a, a teen, I don't know, like, it depends on the type of teenager. Yeah, there are some teenagers that are fucking grown men, mindsets already. They're very mature for their age and they're very aggressive also. That combination is a dangerous combination. And, 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 and it's, a, it, you know, because you're young. But that's a fact. You do have some young chosen few that are just straight lines and they're a little out of control and they really about that life and they don't care. They have no shits. No cares about it. But every... That's not a majority either. Because if it was, we'd be having way more dead people than we got right now. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a That's like a handful of those that's really like about that life like that, like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a handful of Pistol Peas, for example. It's a handful of you know, Alpo's rest in peace, you know, even though he was a rat, you know, rest in peace. Um, it's a handful of all those individuals. I mean, it's not a it's not like it's a large majority. And everybody portrays themselves to be gangsters and all that and tough guys at a young age, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they was. So when it comes to the Sasan Campbell topic and Africa Bimbada. He's basically saying that he was violated. He was influenced by this big, successful rapper that was more than just a rapper. He was a part of the hip-hop culture. He was a pioneer to hip-hop. That's real. That's some serious shit. And he's from the Bronx, from the projects of the Bronx River, I believe. And at the end of the day, he held weight in the game for years. He was a known figure. You know what I'm saying? Africa Ben Bada. He was. So this was a powerful dude. I don't know if he was ever on no gangster shit. I don't know nothing. But I haven't heard, heard. I've always heard the name since young. But I never like. 
I seen him before too and all that. Zulu Nation was deep out in the Bronx at one point in time. He from the Bronx. I remember they used to be out there with the Zulu Nation beads and all that. They even had a a, a handshake true story. The Latin, the Latin King, the, the Zulu Nations had a little handshake they used to do with the Latin Kings. They used to, the Zulu Nations used to call the, try to call the Latin Kings their cousins. Facts. They used to say, I keep peace. I keep peace. Word of mother. I seen Puerto Rican Zulu Nations and all that. No lie. No lie. Anyway, getting back to the topic at hand. At the end of the day, what it means is that this dude was somebody at that time. Hassan was a nobody. He was a young boy. Right? Who was probably looking up to this dude. So, if this dude is a veteran and he a seasoned vet, like obviously he was, and he was a celebrity, the way I'm looking at it, when I hear it objectively, is that he got mind fucked first. He got violated up here first. If what Hassan Campbell said is true, and I'm not going to say that he's lying. I would say I believe him. Put, like, that man got mind fucked too. He got manipulated. And he was probably scared. Nervous. Didn't know. I don't know. And probably got just went along. Because you got to understand, regardless of what a, a bozo like Charleston White say, or regardless of any YouTuber say, the science proves. It's a scientific fact. That when you're a teenager, you still have the brain of a teenager. You don't, you, your, your brain is not 100% grown yet. You're still growing. It's just science, it's a scientific fact. You're not still at the stage of as a grown-ass adult. Because that comes with years. You know what I'm saying? And, and basically to your mid-20s, your, mid, your 20s is when that starts, you know, you start growing. Your brain starts growing and absorbing more. But not everybody, that's why not everybody responds to stuff like that at that age, I believe. I don't know how exactly, how I think he was like 13, 14, 15, 16, I don't care. Like at that age, you know what I'm saying? I've seen teenagers get violated. Real talk. And I'm talking about violated. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a girl. True talk. I seen a girl, a teenage girl, bully a boy in DFY in school. Literally gave this kid a prostate exam. She was a teenager. She violated the kid. She was a, <laughs> yo, she was a bully. I'm not even going to laugh because it wasn't funny. I don't think that kid was laughing when she was doing what she was doing. And I don't believe she put a glove on or any vest on any either. This chick was crazy. I forgot her name. She was from Queens. Big bully chick. Big chick, too. Young joint. But she was moving like a monster in there. She was a young, she was a young girl. In the body of a, of a grown-ass woman. In the mindset of a young woman, too. But she was bad at reference. And she over there was... <laughs> I'm not going to laugh. I'm sorry. Because that's not funny. I know back then I'd be like, yo, we crack jokes on this kid. Like, yo, this dude just got... She was finger popping them in the bathroom. <laughs> and it's not funny because that boy got violated, man. You know what I'm saying? So did he say anything? I don't remember. I don't know. But at the end of the day, that was just a small example of something that I seen. And that was with a female. That was gentle. I seen I've seen other stuff also. It just wasn't like rampant. It wasn't as consistent. It wasn't something that I was always seeing, but it was happening, bro. It happens. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, when it comes to a teenage boy, I try to put myself in his shoes, honestly. But it's hard for me to digest, like, I don't, all the particulars to the situation, it's like, I don't know, like, you know, at the end of the day, it's hard for you to put yourself in somebody's shoes that got violated by another man, unless you've been violated and touched, you know, by another grown-ass man. You know, when you was young too. And I can't really relate to that. But I've seen stuff like, and with a woman, a woman, you know, but it never was like, looked at like that. With me, technically, I was, I was, I was in a, I was technically molested too. Because I was in a relationship when I was 15 with a girl that was 26. That's a fact. She had a kid and everything. 
dudes was looking at me like I was cool, Margarita. I mean, she turned me out, the young age. She was like, you know, she was having a way with me. <laughs> Word up. She's the one that started with the chulo shit and all that, too, actually. World talk. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's not a game to be making fun of somebody or judging somebody. If he's saying that he got molested, that was crazy. That's first of all, I'll tip my hat to you, song for saying something like that, because you put your shit all the way out there. And you know, that's a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's a dude. That takes a lot, bro. So, for him to do something like that, you know, I salute, my, I salute him for that, but for those to be Trying to make fun of him, talking about he was in a relationship. That's crazy, twin. Like, yeah, not everybody was a gangster or a killer. You know what I mean? Stop fronting like everybody's really bite about that life. You know what I mean? Half these dudes wouldn't even, you know what I mean, throw a fucking banana and a, a strawberry in a food fight. Like, they won't, they won't do nothing, bro. They won't throw a piece of lettuce in a food fight. They just all it is, bro. All talk. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really about that life at all. So, at the end of the day, I feel like I don't. I doubt. There's no way in hell I could see somebody forcefully like, ooh, like you know, doing certain things to me. But it's, it's like give me like, oh, I can't even think about it. But it's like trying to to put myself in his shoes. I'd be like, nah, nigga would have to kill me. But that's what everybody says. Will everybody really do that? Would I really do that? I believe, yeah, you gonna have to kill me. I'm, but you know, I never really got. It never, never, ever made it to that with me so but i know people that it happened to you know what i'm saying and it's crazy that's a different story i got one that happened in rikers island you know what i mean in the in in in, in c95 who's violated 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 the dude bro did him dirty sent them over to my crib i mean they ain't send them literally but he ended up getting packed up and landed in my house as far as this hot song can do Campbell goes though, because I'm getting off track. I apologize for that. I think that, you know what I mean, he deserves his flowers because he's really one of the pioneers of this YouTube shit. So at the end of the day, he, he is. So I don't know what's up with his YouTube page. I'm going to have to keep me posted on that. I heard it was getting, it got took down. I don't know how true that is. But at the end of the day, man, let that man be. You know what I'm saying? I don't agree with everything he said, but. I respect what he did for the YouTube game, you know what I mean? Because he definitely opened up a door. At least I opened up my eyes to dudes. I didn't even know what dudes was doing then like that. He was one of the first people that I seen doing it, you know what I mean? So salute to him on that. And at the end of the day, y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, True. Hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe. Let's get into it.